Abu, time for Spider and Old Scooter again. This is the Body Language Edition. Lots of good stuff to talk about today. We're going to be playing uh, the iMac default version of Spider Solitaire. At least it was in 2014 when I bought this Mac. I don't keep up with these things too well. I now know more about headlamps than I did, and really more than I know about the business background and all the machinations about which game gets on which computers when they're uh, generating their base operating systems and so forth. I don't know any about that. I just found this one. I love it. I think it's a, the best version. I play a spider a solitaire on the version that's on my old PC running Windows 7, but uh, mainly I play this one, and I play it a lot, way too much. The reason I'm wearing my Petzl, I'll tell you about in a minute. Right now, let's get this game going. Uh, I'm full of optimism every time I approach the game. I can whip this thing. However, we have this formidable AI, this Spider Mac, I call her. Spider McGillicuddy, I hear is what's on her. Certificate. <laughs> Not birth, but you know, her certificate. Um, but we don't know about these things. A lot of speculation goes on here. But what a great game. It preoccupies me. It takes my mind off the news, although the news is very competitive for getting your mind on it these days. So I'm looking around, seeing if I've got any moves. If you're new to the game and actually came here to see the game played, which I hope some do, because it's fun to do and fun to watch. That might have been best, but let's see what this is. Just no, I don't. I think this was best. When we have options. Uh, the game lets you take it back. See all that moving around, and I've only paid for five moves so far at a dollar a crack. Cheap by any standard. It only gets expensive after you've made fifty moves, and it becomes ten dollars. So I'm going to assume I had most of the plays down during that first look and press on fearlessly. Press on fearlessly. I've said that forever. I think one of my mentors in my youth would say it when I would become maybe demoralized with trying to learn circuitry and ham radio or something. He would say, press on fearlessly. I did. And I'm kind of fearless. Not sure it comes naturally. I think maybe I'm naturally a little bit shy. But I've become sort of learned fearlessness. Happens when you turn 80, man, suddenly nothing is going to scare you. <laughs> so, body language. I'm not seeing any other moves here, so I'll just let my eyes wander uh, while I tell you about the why it's body language. It's uh, President Trump. Ever open, unending source of amazement to me. It's a good thing, you know. Endless amazement. Might become numbing after a while, but so far not. But anyway, it's how Melania has uh, slapped his hands away, how he's uh, responded once, which looked like a sort of around-the-back move. Um, the body language in the meeting with the Pope, mainly the Pope's body language, which to my probably jaundiced eye or prejudiced eye or something looked like the Pope was uncomfortable or unhappy or bored or something. Uh, the President all smiles. So I probably would be too if I were around the Pope. And then there was today when he <laughs> pushed aside what the President of Montenegro, Dusko Markovic, I think is the way his name is said, I'm not sure. But he just you know, got out of my way. I want to be in front. And then he did his Mussolini chin-up pose. And, you know, everybody was sort of amazed. It's all over the newscasts of all sorts, online and off, about him pushing his way through. So the body language edition, that's what this one is. And it's taking my mind off playing the game. So I'll try to now thrust it aside and take advantage of the anodyne of spider solitaire. It removes your mind from the reality, harsh or easy, whatever it is, if you get into the game. Pro
probably while you're playing, if someone who had a sneak up on you, they could hypnotize you. Hypnotize? Easy for me to say. Well, this is really a useless game so far. What else was I going to talk about? Uh, I think that may have been it. <coughs> oh, headlamps. Well, I'll save that for a few more deals. We're halfway through the game. We've dealt three. We're waiting three. I have not punched into the thin blue line at all. A very bad sign. Unless you're Spider Mac, and then it's a good sign, because she loves to win. Her whole existence is in this game. She's not amused or even aware of politics. I think. Who knows? I do have communications with her, as you know. Uh, and she's not revealed any interest in politics. Except in a way this game is like a political game. You're always jockeying for position, trying to make the wise moves. Uh, exactly zero of which I seem to have made so far tonight. Now, I think I will do that just to have something to do. It's had that queen gong, then I have a nice little jack stack. I love to say that. Jack stack. Jack stack. But time. I'm in such a frame of mind. This was an exhausted day. I stayed up too late last night for some weird reason. Got up too early this morning. Not at all a weird reason. It was dogs. Our dog, Yoko, decided we had a invader of some sort, and I'm sure she was right. She's always right. It might have been a deer walking around the outside of the yard, or a bear. We've had bears reported in the neighborhood again this year. We've seen bears in our very own yard. My sweet wife has scared off a bear by shooting a 12-gauge shotgun off of her hip, made a huge bruise, scared off the bear. I was out of town. But anyway, that's the kind of place we live. There are bear. There are bears. There are bear? What would you say? I don't know. We have a bear expert in the neighborhood, too. Should ask her. Well, we're down to one more bid. Still haven't punched a single hole. We've got zero score. Here's a ten string. Ace on the bottom makes it a string. If it's four in a row and doesn't have an ace, it's a stack jack. Five hundred to play, five fifty to break even. I am at this moment eighty dollars in the red. In the hole. And I'm out of plays that I like there, so I guess I could move some stuff around, but should I? Let's see. Oh, don't do that. Move the whole game around. I don't see that that got me any closer to Nirvana. Last deal. Sometimes in my pessimism called the hospice round. Just to keep everybody as comfortable as possible. And I think I, you know, I could do this, and what would that do? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Schultz, right? I can't do Schultz, but you know what I'm talking about. Schultzy. Who knows nothing, nothing. Well, I could do this. And play this queen here hiding somewhere, but, you know. So I'm going to call it a quit. I guess I got all the grousing about stuff I wanted done done. What is that? Something just popped up on my screen. Oh, these. I went to REI today. I've mentioned it before. REI is a, a you know, a fantastic a sporting, hiking, camping, biking, athletic, with it cool kind of semi-high price unless you get all the discounts and it's a co-op. The people who are the customers are the owners. I really like that. Socially makes good sense to me. Anyway, they've got Petzl headlamps, maybe half a dozen, eight, ten variations. Um, and then they have a couple of other brands or at least one other brand. 
what is it? Black Diamond. I think Black Diamond markets itself as a climbing lamp, so when you're holding on to the, you know, the sheer face of the cliff and it's gotten dark on you prematurely, you just click this and then wherever you look. Um, so that you want to really get into these things like I'm not going to do. I just love them. I just wear them. I think they save me from falling downstairs and help me find stuff that's in the dark. I... I'm sort of addicted to it. Not to this by brand. All oh, this is fine. Pencil. This is their Tequina model. I have no idea where that came from. But that's it, kids. That's my endorsement boogie. My news on these things. Headlamps. My political uh, scoffing. So, be at peace.